Hey, today I'm going to show you a simple two-step process that any homeowner can do to permanently waterproof their outdoor concrete, which greatly reduces any damage from stains or salts or freeze thaw. Let's get started. The first step in the process is pressure washing your concrete. Now you don't need any fancy commercial grade pressure washing system like you see me using here, but it is recommended that you use a gas powered pressure washer. The gas powered pressure washers open up the pores of the concrete much better than a little electric pressure washer will. That said, electric pressure washer will work. If you have any oil stains in your concrete, you're going to want to degrease them after your initial pressure washing. So go in and put some degreaser down and scrub that area really well. This usually doesn't remove the stain completely, but what it will do is it will lighten it up and it will remove the oils from the top of the concrete. This is very important before moving on to the next step in the process. After you're done, rinse that area really well with the pressure washer. Remember to blast all of that dirt and debris away from the house and towards the road or towards the yard, whatever. Get it away from the house. Make sure you're blowing out all of those control joints or expansion joints to get all of that dirt, debris, leaves, and all of that stuff out of there. After you're done pressure washing, make sure you allow the concrete to dry out for a day or two before you move on to step two. Step two is sealing your concrete. So I'm using extreme penetrating sealer and I'll get more into why I use this sealer in a second, but first let's go over how to use it. I think the easiest way to apply it is to use a pump sprayer. These backpack sprayers work the best so you don't have to stop to pump up the sprayer. Also, I really like the fan tips because they put down a lot of sealer very quickly. The goal is to completely saturate the concrete with the sealer. So you really want to apply a lot of sealer on that first time around. Because if you try to walk over the area and apply more sealer, it's going to reject it and look like this. Why I use extreme penetrating sealer for my clients is because Number one, it migrates into the concrete much deeper than most other sealers. Number two is that it permanently waterproofs the concrete. Now some penetrating sealers break down over time, but the way that the chemistry works with extreme penetrating sealer is that it crystallizes through the concrete and it permanently increases that density of the concrete, waterproofing it forever. Oh, and one more thing. If there's any sealer left on the concrete after about 15 minutes, you want to just use a dry mop and remove the sealer off of the top of the concrete. If you leave a puddle, they could leave a little bit of like this white residue on top of the concrete and you want the concrete to look great after you took all this time to clean it and seal it. The third reason is because of the water repellency and stain resistance. Although the water repellency from the top of the concrete does wane over time, the stain resistance doesn't. And that's why I use Extreme Penetrating Sealer for my clients, and I recommend you do as well.